हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विन अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एसक्यूल क्वेश्चन तो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क टू मी इन अ डिलॉइट इंटरव्यू अराउंड फोर फाइव इयर्स बैक दैट टाइम आई कूडंट आंसर इट एट दैट पॉइंट बट आई आंसर मेनी अदर क्वेश्चन सो आई वॉज सिलेक्टेड बट दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन आई सो रिसेंटली ऑन माई लिंगडन फीड सो आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग इट विद ऑल ऑफ यू सो इज द सिंपल क्वेश्चन यू हैव दिस कैटेगरी एंड ब्रांड नेम ओके and we have to populate this category value to the last nominal value right it looks like someone has imported data from excel and we have a header and all these things are null right so all this should be populated as chocolate 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 so this is the output expected right once we get biscuit we want biscuit biscuit in all the those until we get any other nominal value right i hope question is clear at first instance this lo it looks like we can use lead lag simply right but it is not true for this row if you do lag one you will get chocolate right but for this row if you do lag one you will not get chocolate so you cannot dynamically change that lag value even if you can this biscuit will come you cannot do partition by on any column right so that will not work so let's see how we can do it first of all we will do a we will generate a row number so let me do that Now here, if you see, there is no column on which I can generate row number, right? I just want row number in the same order we have data. So for that, what we can do, I can say row number. Over. Now this is a trick. Order by, and I will just just say select null. Just see what it will do. As R then, and I am going to run this. what it has done it has generated row number from 1 to 7 in the same order so data order has not changed in the same order it has generated row number right so this is a trick to generate row number select null within order by and you will get row number in the table of in the table with the same order right say so there is no order by or partition by column available to me right so this is first thing so let me create a ct out of it uh with ct1 as this right now next step is what i have to do i have to create a range i have to say if so if anything between 1 and 4 right should have chocolates anything between 5 6 7 should have biscuit this kind of logic i have to write now so what i will do from the ct1 i will filter on not null category values okay so select star from ct1 where just just stay with me in for next 2 3 minutes i'll tell you what i'm doing category is not null right and i'm going to run this now okay so this i got now so what can i do now i can use a lead function right i can use a lead function and get this here and i will say anything between 1 and 4 right put chocolates there right so now i will use a lead function i will say lead of lead of r n right by 1 one. one next value i need over order by r n that's it right as next underscore r n okay let me run this now quickly i got 1 and 5 so i can say all the rows between 1 and this minus 1 right till 4 put chocolates anything between 5 and here we have null that is the problem right either we can say if next is null then you give or you can give some high end default value 9999 right you want have so much rows some high value you can give right so let me run this i will show you with null also i how we can do okay so we have for chocolates i want from row number 1 to 4 and biscuits i want from 5 till all the rows right so what i will go do now ct2 as this is my ct2 and i am going to join these two ct select from ct1 inner join ct2 right inner join on what on ct1 
dot r n right c t one r n is all one two three four five six c t one dot r n should be greater than or equal to c t two dot r n right we said it should be between one and this oh sorry it should be greater than or equal to this right and and should be C two to next R n right minus one. I hope it makes sense. So I am saying C T one is what C T one is. It has all the one two three four five six seven right. I am saying that join with C T one with C T two and C T one dot R n means one. The one two three four five six seven should be greater than equal to one. And less than this minus one, right? Less than equal to. So till four, put chocolates. Okay, I am going to run this now. So I will say, give me category from C T two, right? C T dot category, and this I want from C T one. C T one dot brand name. Okay, don't get confused. Just just. Look at this video again and try yourself. I will put in description box box create and insert a statement and let's see what this produces. If you see, we have got chocolates, right? And here we got biscuits. Okay. I hope this makes sense. Now, what if I don't put this here? So we were getting null value, right? So what I can say that C T one dot R n should be greater than equal to C T two dot R n, and this. Here I can put all condition all C T two dot next R N is null. Okay, so either C T one dot R N is less than equal to five or C T two dot next R N is null. This will also work. Should work. So this is also working now. Instead of giving high end value default value. we have just put this value right i hope this makes sense let me know in comment section if you have any doubt or if you have any better solution i would love to say it thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye